This is a Simpson 360 Series 2 digital multimeter. It's uh, totally manual ranging and it, it dates to 1975. This particular one was last calibrated in 1983. And this is your inside view of that Simpson 360 Series 2. Um, it, it's really a work of art if you, if you like these things. Um, this is a military grade circuit board and the function and range switches are right here. The wafers are glass epoxy material. Uh, these are your various adjustments here, the function of which is unclear, but the accuracy of the meter is such it doesn't require adjustment, thankfully. Uh, the one adjustment that is clear is uh, right here. This is the uh, AC converter. And uh, you know, a 1975 meter hasn't been calibrated since 1983, and the adjustments are still right on. Uh, this is a good one. Our voltage ranges go in multiples of two, so we have 200 millivolts, 2 volts, 20 volts, and 200 volts uh, DC. And I also have a 1000 DC volt range, which I can get about half of that with this power supply. Uh, we'll start with the 200 millivolt range. As you can see, uh, they're quite close. The supply is wandering around just a little bit. Let's switch to the uh, uh, 2 volt range. Pretty close, eh? Think it's accurate enough for shop use? I think so. 20 volt range. Pretty good, eh? 200 volt range. Once again, pretty darned accurate. We'll shoot for about 500 volts here. What do you think, folks? Think it's a good enough meter to use around the shop? And guess what? Old style banana plugs. Okay, now I'm not sure quite how well you can see it, but there is an analog meter function as well. It's useful for uh, trending and for quick checks like for fuses and low value resistors and the like. And another feature this Simpson has is the uh, chart recorder output, which is also can be used for a uh, analog high impedance meter. Hopefully you can see that. And And one other function, not documented in its owner's manual, the 2000 ohm resistance range also functions as a diode check, just like a newer multimeter. And it'll, it'll even light an LED. How about that? And that's it for the multimeter junkie, over and out.